Researchers have been analyzing highly radioactive materials found near the nuclear plant more than two years after the accident. Workers found four types of radioactive substances in the last two months on a riverbed that runs through Nadaha town. The materials resemble black plastic sheeting and fragments of wood. The researchers detected two types of radioactive cesium in the materials with a telling ratio. TEPCO officials say a similar ratio is found in materials more than two years after radioactive contamination. The researchers are trying to identify the materials, but they don't understand how they ended up 15 kilometers from the plant. They say it's possible the materials were blown there by the hydrogen explosions during the disaster. Experts are saying that cleaning up radioactivity in Fukushima Prefecture could cost $50 billion. That's more than four times the amount now allocated. Decontamination work has been done based on radiation level. The central government is responsible for cleanup in the Fukushima Prefecture no entry zone. It's also subsidizing the work in other areas. The government has so far allocated about $11 billion, but it hasn't made clear what the total cost might be. Experts from a science and technology institute have studied the costs. Their estimate for the no-entry zones is about $20 billion. In other areas, they say it's $31 billion. This includes the cost of handling and storing radioactive waste, such as contaminated soil. The government should study the costs before deciding whether to complete decontamination or reallocate the money to help people rebuild their lives. She also says the government is doing the work without considering the expectations of residents. Cleanup crews have years of work ahead of them, but even the decontamination carried out so far has been called into question. It's proceeding at a slow pace, and radiation levels still exceed safe levels in many areas. NHK examined 43 districts where cleanup crews have been working. It compared data before and after decontamination. In 33 of those areas, radiation levels were still high higher than one millisievert per year. That's the safety limit set by the government. Areas close to the nuclear plant present the biggest challenge. Scientists are still testing cleanup methods. Radiation levels near the reactors remain 10 to 60 times higher than the official limit. Elsewhere, crews are making slow progress. As the end of March, the Environment Ministry says decontamination has been carried out in just 3% of residential areas in the evacuation zone. Outside the off-limit zone, only 8% of the cleanup work had been done by the end of June.